Right now on 12 at 12, helping those in need. How St. Mary's is making sure no family goes hungry this holiday season. Plus, a new strain of COVID-19 has officially shut down the UK. But should we be worried here in the US? What experts are saying about the mutation and the social distancing sweater. How this sweater can help you keep everyone at least six feet away during the holidays. 12 at 12 starts right now. 12 minutes, no commercials. We're on TV, we're on the go on the 12 News app, on the website, and on YouTube. Hey everybody, I'm Mitch Carr. In today's Talker, do you plan on traveling this holiday season? Cast your vote right now at 12news.com slash bullhorn or comment down below if you're watching on YouTube. The pandemic is still very much alive and despite warnings from top health officials to stay home, people are on the move. Just this past weekend, Sky Harbor Airport saw one of its busiest weekends since the beginning of the pandemic. Make sure to stick around in just a few minutes and find out what are the most and least risky holiday activities. But for now, let us know what your plans are to travel or not to travel. Around Thanksgiving, airports also saw an uptick in travelers. And as you can see on this graph, coronavirus cases since then have been trending upward here in Arizona. Here's a look at the latest numbers in our state. The Department of Health Services reported more than 1,800 new cases today, along with 153 new deaths. More than 8,000 Arizonans have died from the virus since the beginning of the pandemic. A new strain of the coronavirus is spreading in the United Kingdom. Right now, scientists believe it may spread more quickly, but be less deadly. Team 12's Colleen Sakura is looking into this new strain and what it means for Arizona. We know that all viruses mutate. Scientists expect it and look for it. And researchers at TGen say this particular strain is a bit different because of how many mutations it picked up. As COVID-19 has spread around the world, it's clear that it can infect people quickly. This virus already did that very well, and this strain in the UK seems to do it so much better. Dr. David Engelthaler, director at TJ North and Flagstaff, says this new strain in the UK is spreading even faster, but researchers have not found it in Arizona so far. Doesn't mean it's not here or in the United States. We just haven't seen it yet. While some countries in Europe have imposed travel bans on the UK, Phoenix Sky Harbor tells 12 News nonstop flights from London are already suspended and have been since earlier this year. The new strain may be spreading faster, but it does not appear more dangerous. Rarely do viruses evolve become more deadly. Typically, they become milder, but easier transmitted, and, and that might be what's starting to happen here. European health officials have traced this strain back to September, and the theory is it picked up almost two dozen mutations in one person. The thinking is, is that there was a person who was chronically infected, maybe immune suppressed, had the virus in them for maybe multiple months, and then the virus could just pick up new mutations as it went along until all of a sudden it transmits to somebody finally, and now it has this brand new set of mutations. As to why it's spreading easier, Engelthaler says it's because one of the mutations affects the part of the virus that sticks to human cells. The good news, Engelthaler says the vaccines we have now should work on this strain. However, he notes wearing masks, washing hands and staying home when possible are still the most important pieces in slowing the spread. Colleen Sikora, 12 News. Colleen, thank you. Help for millions of Americans struggling during the pandemic could soon be on the way. A $900 billion coronavirus relief package is headed for President Trump's desk. Last night, the Senate passed the bill after it was approved by the House of Representatives. Now, with this new bill, most people will be getting a $600 stimulus check. You could get your money as early as next week. Those on unemployment will be getting an extra $300 a week, and the ban on evictions was extended. White House officials say the president will sign the bill possibly today. Christmas is right around the corner, and St. Mary's is helping make the holidays a little brighter for those in need. Team 12's Matt Uris joins us from the food bank with a look at the incredible work happening there. Yeah, really more important than ever this year with everything our community is going through. They're expecting to serve upwards of 800 people a day this week. I'm joined now by Jerry Brown with St. Mary's Food Bank to discuss the details. What are your hours if people are interested in coming down and getting some food? Absolutely. We're open today and every day through Christmas Eve from 7.30 till 1 p.m. Some of the other food banks traditionally close during this time of the year. And if you do find yourself in a situation where the food bank you normally go to is not open, come on down to St. Mary's and we'll help you out. Now, no ham or turkey uh, like associated no. with Thanksgiving, but you guys are giving away more food than ever. Absolutely. We had more than 900 families yesterday come in. And the amount of food that we give away is actually more than we do during our Thanksgiving distribution. All kinds of milk, dairy, uh, canned food items, fruits, vegetables, bread, everything you need for the next couple of weeks. It'll see you through with your families. 
There are a number of ways you can help out from volunteering, donating food, of course, or even starting a food drive. If you want details on that, go ahead and Google St. Mary's website and you can get those right there. For now, in Phoenix, Matt Uris, 12 News. All right, thank you, Matt. If you missed the so-called Christmas star, you are in luck. It should be visible to some extent each night up until Christmas. Look for it in the low southwestern sky for an hour after sunset. What is it? Well, millions around the U.S. broke out their cameras last night to capture Jupiter and Saturn aligning on the winter solstice. These are just some of the pictures from our weather watchers. This one specifically is from Steve DaCosta. It's fantastic. Says he almost missed the planet's aligning, but managed to get his camera out in time to get this amazing shot. And this next one is from Greg, and Greg says he captured the Great Conjunction while hiking to the top of Sunrise Peak. Wow, A for extra credit there. These shots look amazing, so please keep sharing your photos with us online and on the 12 News app. And it is time for your 411 forecast, but before we get to it, Crystal, what was your favorite picture of last night's conjunction? There are so many of our weather watchers on that Facebook page. Can't get enough conjunction. Wow. It is incredible scrolling through the feed on our 12 News Weather Watcher Facebook page. You should really check it out. The collection of photos. This is one of my favorites because, I mean, come on. Look at the placement of the two planets and their moons right next to the angel atop of the temple in North Phoenix. This is a great shot, Dustin. Thanks for sharing it with us. Now, on this very day, 30 years ago, we were looking up to the sky as snowflakes were swirling down in Phoenix. Yeah, talk about a throwback to 1990, where just less than a half of an inch of snow fell in Phoenix here. That certainly would be a treat, but really the only thing flying around is going to be your holiday decorations, especially in the higher terrain, where those southwest winds are going to be jumping up between 30 and 40 miles an hour today. So you might have to go poking around your neighbor's yard to find your missing Santa today if you didn't make sure it was securely fastened earlier. Those winds, they're still going to be whipping tomorrow. In fact, we're going to dial them up along the northwestern fringes of the state tomorrow. So be ready for that. Anchor down the decorations. Clouds are going to be coming and going, mixing with the sun at times, but dry weather continues to be the theme through midweek. And temperatures, well, they take a nosedive in the mountains by tomorrow. We're taking away a good solid 15 to 20 degrees in some cases in behind this wind maker. That cold air really settles in, but those temperatures will bounce back up just in time for the holiday, hitting around that 70 degree mark in our lower deserts, upper 40s in the mountains with a mixture of sun and clouds. Thanks, Crystal. Now back to today's talker. Despite the pandemic, many people are still traveling for Christmas. So we want to know, will you be traveling for the holidays? You can cast your vote right now at 12news.com slash bullhorn, or you can comment down below if you're watching on YouTube. Right now, 91% of you, you're listening to the CDC and others. You are not traveling. 9% say family is worth that risk. This is what it looked like at Sky Harbor yesterday. The holiday rush is leading to crowded terminals and long lines across the country. So what activities are safe during the holidays? Well, the Texas Medical Association ranks traveling by air at a five, which means there is a moderate risk. To put that into perspective, taking photos with Santa this year, more dangerous, ranked at a seven. Hosting a holiday party with friends and family is near the top end of the scale. They are both ranked an eight. And one of the highest risk things to do is to celebrate New Year's Eve at a bar or nightclub. That is ranked at a 10. Keep weighing in at 12news.com slash bullhorn. If you are visiting your family in person over the holidays but still want to be cautious, just get this sweater. Remind your family you're happy to see them, but happier six feet apart. Well, <laughs> that's pretty good. The security firm Simply Safe came up with the social distancing sweater. It's got motion sensors that will trigger an alarm anytime someone comes within six feet of you. It even flashes lights in festive colors. How nice. People are really getting into the holiday spirit this year, despite the financial struggles that many are facing. A lot of people are dishing out extra cash to spread Christmas cheer during the pandemic. So let's connect the dots. There have been a lot of unusual side effects from the coronavirus pandemic. Now experts say it's driving another trend, a huge increase in Christmas lights. Let's connect the dots. The pandemic hasn't given us a lot to be cheerful about, which may be why people are cranking up the Christmas decorations this year. According to one holiday data report, 
the sales of string Christmas lights are up 194% from last year. And it's not just an increase in decorations. Retailers like Lowe's say they had customers requesting Christmas decorations starting in August. The high demand for holiday decorations has created shortages. The big retailers order their Christmas supply months ahead of time, so many were placing orders right when the pandemic lockdowns hit. With so much uncertainty going on, some stores decreased what they bought from years past. One big exception was Walmart, which ordered almost a year ago, according to the Wall Street Journal. It increased its order from last year based on an improving economy, but it still wasn't enough. The pandemic has resulted in other trends as well. Dollar General is reporting a big increase in wrapping paper sales, while the sale of gift bags is lower. The company believes that is because more people are shipping gifts than exchanging in person. Also, there has been a bigger demand for do-it-yourself decorations, with Michaels reporting a strong sales of do-it-yourself Christmas wreaths and ornaments. Connecting the dots, I'm Cheryl Mercedes. All right, thank you, Cheryl. Before we go, let's check back in on today's talker. Do you plan to travel for the holidays? CDC says the best way to protect yourself and others from COVID is to stay home, and 92% of you say you're going to listen. 8% of you, though, say family is more important and you will hit the road and travel. There's still time to vote, too. We're going to be checking in on this all day on 12 News, so please keep voting at 12news.com slash bullhorn. And those of you watching on YouTube, feel free to comment down below. Your comments may make it on the air. And that is your 12 at 12, the facts on everything you need to know in just 12 minutes with no commercials. We're always on anywhere, anytime on 12news.com, the 12 News app, and on our social media channels as well. 